Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to Lessons in Leisure, where I take you along my journey of romanticizing my life and finding joy through various hobbies. So in today's video, I wanted to do a quick little, what am I doing? Everything I bought to start my small business. And I thought that this would be a really good video to do because I didn't buy a lot, honey. I really did not. The very first thing I did was I made an Etsy account. So if you would like to see my Etsy or know how to set up an Etsy, there are various videos. But I did not pay for that. The only thing I paid for in terms of Etsy, well, there is a small like $15 fee to start your store. And then there is a 20 cent fee every time that you upload a new listing. And then when that listing expires after several months, you have to pay that 20 cents again. Um, but those are the only startup costs for Etsy. I will show my Etsy later on in the video, probably towards the end of the end. But I want to show the things that I actually purchased that came to me for my small business. So the name of my business is called Finishing Touches. And it's knit, knit, crochet, finishing touches. In this um, business, on this Etsy shop, I crochet hats. We're starting off with just hats. Um, and really it's just gonna be me exploring different ways to make cute bucket and or ruffle hats, which I have a few videos posted already on that. But for starters, I knew if I wanted a crochet business, honey, how am I gonna ship it out? Because I have done businesses before, but they have all specifically been some sort of drop shipping type of business where I do not have the actual product. I just make the design, send it to Printify, and then ship it off to, well, Printify will ship it off to whoever purchases it. So I am more so the, the I guess I would be like the third party or I'm, I'm just the middle man between the printing company and that person purchasing it on their own because it's my designs that they are purchasing on their t-shirt. But I have never done a business where I have the product, I make the product, and then I package and ship the product. That has always been extremely nerve wracking for me. And I feel like a lot of people probably feel this way too because I've seen other videos where people are like, yo, I'm so Yo, I'm super, I don't know if you heard them drag racing down the street on the Saturday afternoon, but whatever. Um, I'm so nervous because it's like nerve wracking. Like, oh my gosh, I have to print off a printing label. I have to make sure it gets to the right person at the right place at the right time. Like, what do you mean? Very nerve wracking, but I'm just gonna do it. Like I saw a video, they were like, yo, it's not that hard, it's not that difficult. Especially if you have certain objects. So the first um, purchase I made for my Etsy shop, my crochet small business is a thermal printer. So I got this bad boy on Amazon. I will link her down below. She's cute, she's pink, she's compact. She does what she needs to do. You can adjust the size of your, whatever you're printing. Um, if you wanna know more specs, I don't know. But I'll put the link below. So this was essential for me because I was not gonna go interact with people more than I had to. Like, I, I wasn't gonna go to FedEx, I was gonna say Kinko's, baby, how old am I? I did not wanna go to FedEx office to print. I did not wanna go to UPS and walk in and do all that where I have to interact with them and they print off the label and blah, blah, no. I'm gonna do it myself. So I knew that this was essential for me and I heard that having this is cheaper than going through all that extra stuff. So I could just print the labels at my house. Now this, I believe was $78, roughly, something along those lines. So honestly, in the grand scheme of things, 
I don't think that's a bad purchase at all. Um, to go with it, I bought a roll of just the paper that you use in it to print the labels, the sticky paper that you stick on top of it. That was probably about $19. Again, I will link that as well. Uh, I don't even remember how many is in there, but honey, uh, more than enough for me right now with this small business venture that I am just now starting. Not the table shaking, Lord. All right, the next thing I purchased, um, let's still stick on the thermal printer. So with my thermal printer, I love it because not only can I print labels, I can print stickers. So I purchased some really cute thermal stickers. They're pink, purple, and blue. And I use my thermal printer to create my sticker. So on my sticker, if you were wondering how to spell the name, I have finishing touches with the logo and a QR code, which is perfect. People love to put stickers on water bottles, put stickers on their laptop, their iPad. People like to put stickers any and everywhere. Um, so, excuse me, in their books. So I knew I wanted a sticker, but not only a regular sticker, I wanted a sticker with the QR code. That way it's so easy for people to go to my site. Um, I also have given a few of these stickers to my family, my friends, and if they're wearing one of my hats out and somebody was like, oh my gosh, your hat is so cute, where'd you get it? They don't have to be like, oh, fit, type in finishing touch, you guys spell it, no. You have a roll of tissues with, oh, you have a roll of stickers with you. Pick one off, give it to them. It's perforated, so you just gotta tear it off. Give them the sticker, and boom, not only do they have a cute sticker, they also have direct access to my store because I wanted to make it as easy as possible for them. When people have to go through more steps, and let's say I just put my logo on there with the name, they are less likely to go to my store. They may lose the sticker. <sighs> Anything can happen, but it's less likely that they're gonna sit there and type in finishing touches or remember to type in finishing touches or what have you. If there's a QR code, they don't have to wait. They can immediately get out their phone, scan the QR code straight to my site on their Etsy app, and now boom, they can either follow quickly if they wanna remember to go back to it, or they if they love whatever hat my friend has on, or if I'm wearing a hat myself, they can easily just go ahead, boom, buy it, and it's done. So I really love my thermal printer for that. And I know this is a pack of like 500 of these really cute stickers, and it was $8.99 for the pack of stickers. Um, also talking about stickers, I wanted a sticker to put it on the outside of my package. So this sticker just says, thank you for supporting my small business. If you can't tell, I have a theme of pink. I like pink. And this is pink and rose gold. And it's just cute. And I just want to stick it up on the thing. I want to stick it up on the thing. All right, next up, we have my cards that I'm also going to put inside of the package. Now, again, small business, AKA I've only had two orders so far and they're from friends. I love y'all, they're from friends. So when I start shipping out, like actually shipping out my um, orders, which is gonna happen because my hats are fire period, to begin to exist, then I'm gonna have your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours because that is just so cute. And then on the back of it, it's white space. And I just wanna uh, write a quick little hand written note to each customer for each purchase. So I really, when I first bought these, I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were bigger. They're not, so it's okay, it's okay. We can we can work with it, we can write a cute short little some, some, some on the back. Um, but yeah, I really like those. And again, once I feel, honestly, cause I already bought them. We using all these cars, I don't even remember. They get used, so once all these are gone and it's time for me to stock up again, I will go ahead and customize my own cars on Canva. Cause I love Canva and I use it for everything. All right. I believe 
the last, is this the last purchase? Yeah. The last thing I got for, to start my small business is honey, you gotta be able to ship your package. So I have this pack of 100 pink, Holly mailers. Um, to ship my hat. Um, now this is like, I would say, it doesn't say the size, but it's a hundred pink postal bags. This is given like a medium, a medium size bag. It easily fits even my biggest ruffly hat. So if somebody purchases a big ruffle hat, I will definitely be able to fit it in there. If somebody purchases two big ruffle hats, we're gonna have to, uh, uh, you know, we're gonna have to figure it out. We're gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna have to get bigger bags, but again, Small business just starting out. I don't need to go as ham because y'all, I promise you, I'm the type of person who goes all in with my things. When I want to do something, like you can even look at my freaking streaming setup. I went all in, honey, never streamed a day in my life. Got the PC, the chair, the big old monitor, the mic, and uh, the headphones. Who, who playing? When I when I say I'm gonna do something, we going all in. But I had to take a step back because, girl, you have room to grow. You have room to grow. You don't need to do too much too soon. Like, why are you getting 500 packs of polymellers and haven't made a sale? I mean, yes, be confident, which is why I got 100 pack. But like, don't you don't need to overdo. You don't need to. But well, what if I get an order for ten hats? How am I gonna ship it, honey? Has that happened yet? Have you had an order for one hat yet? Let's take it one step at a time. So same with like paying a company to do customizable stickers or customizable cards or customizable bags. Like I don't feel it necessary to do that right now. Maybe if it gets extremely big. I may still not feel it necessary to do the customizable bags, but I may do the customizable cars. I may have a different range of sizes. Like you grow with your business. So that's literally all I bought to start my business. And so far it's getting some traction and I haven't even like really pushed it the way I could be pushing it, but we st we're changing that now. We're starting that now. Um, with some videos that I'm posting to my YouTube channel, including this one. So if you would like to purchase either one of my crochet hats, or if you would like to look at some of my teacher merch, merch, my teacher inspired t-shirts that I have on my other Etsy, you can find it in the links below. I have two different links for my two different Etsy stores. Um, but yeah, that's one. How many things I buy? One, two, three, four, five, Six. I bought six things to start my small business and I feel well equi equipped and ready. To so if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.